Hi there, my name is Jerry Murphy and I'm a meteorologist and weather forecaster with Metairn, the Irish National Meteorological Service. We are based in Glasnevin in Dublin 9 and I'm here in the forecast office where we produce the forecasts and weather warnings for Ireland. So the subject of meteorology and the science of meteorology is very interesting and a career in meteorology is very varied and interesting as well. But how do you become a meteorologist? Well, meteorology is the study of the motion of the atmosphere and the motion of the atmosphere is described through physical and mathematical equations. So therefore, at school, you need to have a good aptitude for physics and maths and, if possible, do honours physics and maths for your leaving cert. Then, at university, you need to study a subject where maths and physics are important within that degree or specifically do a maths or physics degree. Also, another means of becoming a meteorologist is to study specifically a degree in meteorology at university. And once you've gone through any of these paths, you are then well qualified to become a meteorologist. So then if you do choose to become a meteorologist, well, what does the work involve? Well, as I said, we are here in the forecast office and weather forecasting is one of the most important roles of uh, a meteorologist. So how do we forecast the weather? Well, there are really three um, steps in forecasting the weather. The first is the analysis of the current weather and we do that by analysing our weather observations from around the country and looking at our radar to see what the rain, where the rainfall is and satellite picture to see the weather systems and the clouds moving in over Ireland. And that tells us what the weather will be really at present. Then to look into the future we then use numerical weather prediction models and these basically predict using very large computer programs and the physics and the motion of the atmosphere, they predict this, the, how the weather will develop over the coming days. So you can see on this animation, we have rainfall moving in from the west and more rain moving up from the south. So using the analysis of the current weather and our prediction products for the future weather, we then come up with the weather forecast and we decide also whether to issue weather warnings and once we do all that then the third step is communication of the weather so the forecast is communicated through our website through social media through tv and through radio and weather forecasts and warnings are very important in society both for people's work farmers fishermen pilots and then for leisure as well whether to go to the beach whether to take a coat uh, whether to um, stay safe from the wind. Weather forecasting is very important in many ways, especially with regard to warnings, as when the weather is severe, good forecasts, good warnings help keep people safe. But forecasting isn't the only role uh, that a meteorologist can have. As I said, we use these weather, numerical weather prediction models. If you choose to work in research on computers, in physics and maths, you will then work on these models and improve them to help improve the weather forecast. This is more on the mathematical and physics side of the, of the role. Another role is within climate. Climate is looking at the past weather and by doing studies on the past weather, we can learn uh, many things that help in planning, that help in also in predicting the weather as well by looking at some of our past weather. And in more recent years, the whole area of climate change has become very important as well. So there is a role there for getting involved in modeling of the climate into the future, which is an extension of the weather prediction models. So there are many varied roles that a meteorologist can perform. It's a very interesting role, a very worthwhile role in society as there are many benefits from good weather predictions, good weather warnings and good weather studies in society. And as well as that, the role of a meteorologist is very global also. All countries have a weather service, all countries have significant variations in their weather, so no matter what part of the world you travel to as a meteorologist, you will always get work. So I hope that gave you a brief summary of the, how to become a meteorologist and the role of the meteorologist. It is a very interesting, very worthwhile and very, very clear and well worth considering.